What's up mga Noy Peas? Nagbabalik si Pinoy Super TV Junior para sa isa na namang episode ng Palitan ng Mukha! Deserving pa si Triple J na tawaging the best middleweight in the world sa ngayon. Lalog-lalo na pagkatapos ng laban niya kay Ryota Murata. Nandyan naman ang mga Amerikano sina Demetrius Andrade at Jermal Charlo. Pero malayo pa nga mga resume nito sa mga accomplishment ni Golovkin. Matapos ang isang slow start at halatang nasaktan ito ni Murata. Nandun pa nga ang tigas nito at pusong kampyon. Nakabalik nga ito sa laban at nakakuha ng 9th round TKO win laban sa magaling na hapon. Sa edad na 40 years old, itang kita na malayo na nga sa prime si Triple G pero naniniwala pa rin tayong kaya pa nitong manalo sa mga top middleweights. Pwera na lang kung aakyat ito sa super middleweight at hamunin na naman ang kanyang rival na si Canelo Alvarez. Don't get me wrong, isa pa rin mahirap na laban ito para kay Canelo. Pero sa ipinakita ni Golovkin sa kanyang mga laban, Pinamurata at Terevianchenko, naapektuhan nga siya ng mga body shots. At kung body shots ang usapan, magaling nga si Canelo sa mga tirang ito. Pero syempre, kung mangyayari man ang isa na namang Triple G versus Canelo fight, isa pa rin itong kaabang-abang na laban at di malayong mangyari. Marami ang excited na makita ang dalawa sa mga top fighters sa mundo na ipakita kung sino ba talaga ang mas magaling. From the Japanese champion, Triple G though, leaning forward in that phone booth that left just obliterating the body in round 3. But in his home country, Murata would not be intimidated, would not back down whatsoever from Triple G, the Olympic gold medalist. Putting on a show for his home country. See round three. What a fight this is becoming already. An early fight of the year candidate just ripping the body of Triple G over and over again to the side, the oblique, then right into the middle of the gut. Triple G so quick with that left still. He might not move like he used to with his feet. His head movement was never fantastic, but man, he still got the speed in those hands. Although. Murata was ripping him with those body shots. Triple G throwing a lot of punches. Huge volume from both fighters. Huge volume. And Murata, you didn't really know a ton about him coming in at only 15-3 with 13 knockouts. These two just going at it throughout this fight. The short jab from Triple G and the right gets through the guard. Comes around with the hook. Raises him there. But Murata continuing with the body shots. None of them super hard. Look at Triple G with the combo there. And round five is when he started to take over this fight. He started to hit him with a couple of big shots. He saw the right wobble him there. This is where Triple G started to take control of the fight. It didn't look good for Gennady Golovkin early on. But this is where Triple G started looking more like the Triple G of old. It's like he got a second win, another gear kicked in. And he started thinking to himself, man, I got to do my part to fight Canelo at 168. And unify the super middleweight championship coming up later this year. Triple G starting to flash some of that trademark power. He's number two in the world at middleweight. There's another body shot from Murata and another right hook that gets through. Triple G dropped that left a little bit. Look at that uppercut though, right through the guard. And then the left overhand coming through. Not a ton of power there. The uppercut from Murata, the camera work here is incredible. Triple G sends the mouthpiece flying. And you know you're getting hit hard when that happens. Look at these combos now from the legend, the Hall of Famer, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Happy birthday, Triple G. Look at him go one day after turning 40. Big, powerful right hand gets through. And the mouthpiece goes flying. Great camera work there. Round seven. Murata still coming forward, but Triple G just, man, he's Triple G. Relentless pressure, relentless. Just taking those shots, eating them, walking right through them. He's always been a big 160. Murata coming back on Triple G throughout the night. He's 36 himself, no spring chicken. A nice hook gets through from Triple G. Murata misses, whiffed on that one. In round eight now. Triple G pops his head back with a couple of jabs in a row. 
started really taking control. Threw 257, or landed 257 out of 629 punches. Did Golovkin 144 out of 592 from Rata. And here they are in round eight, under a minute remaining. Triple G switching stances, popping them back with the jab a little bit. There's the left. Look at that, the jab followed by the left coming from the outside. Never saw it coming, and the straight right down the middle. Beautiful, as Morata continuing to come forward and throw combos at Triple G. Huge step up in competition for Morata. Here they are in round nine. This is when Triple G really gets after him. Two minutes left in the fight. Morata looks like he's out on his feet there. Referee standing there, right there, a couple of feet away, but still trying to come forward. Morata looked like he did a little bit of damage there. Triple G backing up, being barraged by Murata. And there's Triple G, rocks him and knocks him down. That short shot just rocked him, and he kind of turned sideways, stood there, didn't know where he was for a second. Triple G, Gennady Golovkin with the knockdown, and Murata doesn't know where he is right now. Head all lumped up a little bit. Triple G in his corner, and they stop the fight. Triple G is the winner. An unbelievable win for him by TKO. Is oh, mga noy peace! Ano masasabi nyo sa labang ito? Post your comments below, like and share this video. At huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-click na rin notification bell at piliin ang all para lagi kang updated sa ating mga bagong uploads. Maraming salamat sa suporta. Peace!